We're in the process of installing the fifth sway on the croft. Um, we've marked it out today, ready to start digging tomorrow. Uh, you can see the sun's about to go down, so not going to get to that today. Uh, but I'll start digging that out tomorrow. Uh, but we got that marked out, so I thought I'd do a video and show you how we did that. So there's a few ways that we could um, mark out contour. There's a few methods. One of them is an A-frame. Loads of videos on how to do that on YouTube. Uh, really simple, easily done. I prefer one of these myself. I think it's a bit more accurate. Uh, and this is a bunyip level. Now the last one, we made it out of length of tubing and two bits of wood and two um, cheap and cheerful um, measuring tapes screwed onto it. And it worked. We did all the other earthworks been measured out with that. But it was so big and it was so clunky and it weighed a ton uh, that we ended up leaving it outside and it rotted out. But then I came across this. Now this is a water level kit. I picked this up at a supermarket when they're the one special. But um, you know you can buy these things online. But all I've done is I've taped it off to a pair of canes at the same height. So there we go. So I did that on a flattened level surface. So these are completely at the same length and we've got 15 meters of tubing connecting them so we'll let a little bit of water out of them to bring it into the center line and then we'll use this for marking out this contour right across the whole field all right so i've got the first cane here which is exactly you know where i've dug the pit ready and on that that's coming up at just about 13. And that one there is doing exactly the same thing on the water level on that one. So we're going to stick a cane in there and then we're going to take it onto the next one. So that's where we were just marking out. I've just moved on to the next one. And you can see there I'm at about the 10 centimeter mark. That one over there <laughs> is just about brimming. So I'm a bit high. So I'm going to move down a little bit. And then we'll see what that stabilizes at. We want it to be somewhere around 13 ideally. So you're about 13 and a half? Um, just 13 actually. That's very, very close. So I'm gonna go down a little bit. All right, that's 12 and a half now. Okay, so I've come a bit too far down, so if I back up a bit... Just a smidge under 13. That's us perfectly, just under 13. There we go. So, if we cap off these there... And if you come past beyond me and pass me a cane on the way past... Yeah, especially with the canes in the ground. So we've done that before. Right, you give me one of them. Give me that one. There we go. So if you walk on a little bit, I'll get that stuck in the ground here. So there's no point showing you all of it. You get the idea. But basically, that point there is completely on contour with that point there. And that point there and so on across the field. So we're just going to keep on going. Well, that contour didn't run anything like I was expecting. It looks like it runs uphill and then downhill. It's just a weird illusion. But that's why we need to mark these things out. So it's a fairly convoluted kind of swale, really. It definitely does a fair bit of curving. That's cool. Um, but I'd expected it to run kind of equidistant between the two existing swales, and it doesn't at all. Because you can see as we come down here, along here I should say, that we're getting much closer that than we are the next one up. So, again, doing more little curvy bits. It's going to be an interesting shaped swale, but as we get down to this end of it, or along to this end of it, you can see that is, well, you know, very close 
to that, but it's quite a way up to the next whale. So I think this is probably where I'm going to stop it, because by the time I've got the berm on the other side of it, I still want to have a reasonable amount of land so I can bring something the size of a small digger or a quad bike with a trailer or something like that through. By the time I've, if I brought it over to here, and then I put the big berm on the back, it's getting a little bit pinched here, and especially if it's wet in winter, that edge could be a little bit soft. I don't want to go too close to it, so yeah, uh, we're going to back up too. I'll keep these in just because it's really interesting seeing the contour as you work. But you can see as we go back along, there's a fair bit of wavering. So next thing to do is to start digging. <laughs> 